Thank you for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Kyle Warnke. Warner Robins City Council members say they want more time to discuss the city's budget. The only item in the budget that has raised any real concern from city council members is the 3% pay increase for its city's employees. Mayor Shaheen says he doesn't understand the holdup because the $36 million budget, well, it's balanced and there are no tax increases. Council members say they still haven't had a chance to discuss the budget in depth. A Warner Robins man is dead after he tried to break into a home, not realizing that homeowner was armed. 32-year-old Travis Lucas shot Ronald Burnett in the chest after Burnett tried breaking in. Warner Robins police found Burnett's body in front of Lucas' home. Warner Robins police said the autopsy on Burnett should be completed from Monday. Stephen McDaniel's lawyers filed a motion to ban wearing the color pink in court during his trial. McDaniel is accused of killing Mercer Law grad Lauren Giddings in June of 2011. That motion states Giddings loved the color pink and her friends and family wear it at every hearing in her memory. McDaniel's defense said a jury exposed to a, quote, sea of pink solidarity could influence how the jury reviews the evidence during trial. That trial is scheduled for September. McDaniel has pleaded not guilty. A Colorado man who claimed he had rightful ownership to a big patch of land in Twiggs County has lost his case. Alan Evans claimed his family owned more than 400 acres in Twiggs County, but that the property deeds were lost in a Twiggs County courthouse fire in 1901. A judge ruled Evans was not entitled to the land, which, by the way, is currently owned by more than 50 different owners. Evans is not allowed to file any more suits about this land. A lawsuit may force the city of Rochelle to rethink its sewage system. Residents on the north side of town say every time it rains, raw sewage flows from the pipes and into their homes and yards. Several residents, residents have complained to the city about it. However, one man says he thinks nothing is being done because of his race. You know, we reached out to several city leaders who would not comment due to pending litigation. Rochelle City Council will meet Wednesday at 7 p.m. for an update. Macon City Council members are speaking out about delays in pool openings throughout the city. Councilman Larry Schlesinger says he and others have proposed a resolution expressing concern and asking Bibb County leaders to use all its resources to get the pools open as quickly as possible. That resolution will go before full council Tuesday night. Three of the pools are set to open today, by the way. The pool at Freedom Park will be closed all summer. Well, it is official. The Bibb County School District has a new leader, at least for the next year. In front of a packed boardroom, Dr. Stephen Smith was sworn in as the interim superintendent. He says he is ready to meet with the board and start the process of getting schools back on track. Dr. Smith said his first goal to, is to get the board working together as a team. He will start those meetings with board members sometime this week. Hundreds of people packed bags of food Monday to help combat worldwide hunger. It was part of this year's South Georgia Conference of the United Methodist Church. Volunteers worked with Stop Hunger Now, an international nonprofit organization, to help feed those in need. They made mobile meals, which consist of rice, soy flour, dehydrated veggies, and a vitamin packet. That food is then shipped off to school feeding programs in 38 different countries. And be sure to join us on the air for the news tonight at 6 and 11. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.